Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Quick Tricks for the MC101. On my previous video about multi-track recording, I had a few comments asking if it was possible to record other external devices at the same time as multi-tracking the MC101. This is quite straightforward on an Apple device, as macOS supports aggregate devices, however additional software is required for Windows. Today, I'll be explaining how to use ASIO for All to combine your audio interface with the MC101, so that you can multi-track record the MC101 as well as record other synths at the same time. ASIO for All is a free ASIO driver for Windows, which includes the functionality to aggregate devices. You can download the driver from asioforall.org. Once you have downloaded the driver, read and accept the license agreement. I've chosen to add the optional rewire component as I've got some old Reason projects that use Propeller Head's rewire. If you don't use rewire, then you don't need this. Then click next and complete the installation. Before configuring ASIO for All, I'll quickly walk you through how I've connected everything into the laptop. For this example, I have the audio output of my Novation Mini Nova synth plugged into the audio input of my UA Arrow audio interface. I then connect the Arrow to my laptop through Thunderbolt 3. My MC101 is connected to the laptop with a USB cable. Power on all of your devices and then open up your door. For this example, I'm using Ableton Live. Go to Preferences and select ASIO for All as your ASIO audio device. Click Hardware Setup and the ASIO for All window should open up with a list of all of your audio interfaces. I've got Realtek Audio, which is my inbuilt laptop sound card, NVIDIA High Definition Audio, which is the HDMI output of my graphics card, Universal Audio, which is my Arrow, and the MC101. Click the spanner icon to enable advanced mode. Then turn on the audio devices you want to aggregate. I'm going to use the Arrow and the MC101. You should also be able to see all of the inputs and outputs listed. Turn on the ones you want to use. Then go into the input config and turn them all on. If you have multiple outputs on your audio interface, you may want to do a similar thing on output config. The rest of the steps should now be similar to my Ableton multi-track recording video. Create some new audio tracks. I'm going to create six, one for the Mini Nova and five for the MC101's four tracks and master track. Then record enable all of the tracks and select the correct input for each track. You may need to play around to figure out which track is which after you've aggregated the devices. I've got the Mini Nova connected to input 2. The master of the MC101 is on stereo pair 3-4 and tracks 1-4 to four are on stereo pairs 5-6, 7-8, 9-10 and 11-12. I'm going to turn on input monitoring for the Mini Nova and the master output of the MC101 and then record. You can now see I've recorded the Mini Nova on its own separate track, as well as having the MC101 multi-tracked on its own separate tracks at the same time. That's it for this video. Please comment below if you want me to do a similar video for macOS. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to T-Break Beats for more videos like this one.